Dr. Arthur Middlebrow, and I am the last survivor from the steamer Manasu, which sank on a cold, stormy night in 19, September 1928. I was a medical student and worked on the Manasu as purser in the summertime. We had gone up to Manitoulin Island for a load of cattle on the main deck, although she was a passenger ship. The passenger season was over. This was on the middle of September. We got fairly well down and the weather got very bad with a strong southeast wind getting up to gale force. It blew so hard it blew chairs right off the deck up over the rail and overboard. I opened the door and the top deck and it blew it right off its hinges. And um, it blew in this gangway door and we took a door off the, the dining room and spiked it up like the, the top half of the, the wooden half of the gangway, of the passenger gangway. And uh, we'll keep the water out. And uh, some of the crew were terrified. Some of them were very calm. As we got farther south, and just off Griffith's Island, about a mile and a half, the boat listed to port into the wind and kept on slowly going over. And most of the crew, including myself, managed to clamber up along the rail. It was dark and miserable and rainy. You couldn't see very much, although there was some sky glow. And I realized that the ship was going to sink. And as I saw the stern disappearing slowly, I ran down the side of the ship and dove in and headed for Griffith's Island Light. After about 25 strong strokes, I noticed a dark patch in the water to my right, and I swam over and it was a life raft. So I climbed up on it and helped the chief engineer up on it. The captain and the passenger and an oiler were already on it, and in a few minutes, the mate came along, Ozzy Long, and I helped him up on the raft. This was about 2.30 in the morning. About 4.30, the Manitoba passed us, but it was just too dark. They didn't see us. They were only about 200 yards away. Shortly after that, the wind dropped and started from the southwest, blowing us out into the bay, towards the middle of the bay. We all felt the cold very much. I just had on a suit of Hatchway buttonless underwear. As I had to get up in a hurry. And we were on this raft Friday, the rest of Friday, from 2 o'clock Friday until 4 o'clock Monday afternoon. Early on Monday, the chief engineer died and we had to push him overboard as the raft was sinking in one corner. However, about four o'clock, we saw the Manitoba and wildly flagged it and she came and put a boat out and brought us home. Out of 21 of us aboard, 
Only five survived. What happened to the boat, I don't think the cattle all went to one side, as many people believe, because they were properly penned. Uh, the boat had steel stanchions on the main deck, and these were made into pens with about 10 or 15 cattle to a pen. A total of 130 cattle. They were not large cattle. And it was a dreadful night. Terrible.